Most of the time when you create a slideshow, you don't want to see titles on every photo. So if I click slideshow here, it's going to show me the title of the actual event or the album we're in, but it's not going to show me any information about each of the photos. That's a problem if you want to tell people what each photo is. My recommendation is to first find photos you want to work with, click once on the title and name it. Now, when we go in to create a slideshow, those titles are still not going to show because we have to go here into the gear and change our options by clicking show caption in the settings tab. See how it says show caption titles? Let's see what it looks like now. Now it's showing that title that we renamed when it displays the photo. Now there might be a problem. Let's just say you don't see the title here and that's usually in view titles. You, you might not be seeing titles for either of them. So you can either click view titles, which I like, or you can click on the bottom right side here, info. Clicking info is going to show you information on whatever you highlight. I highlight this one, it's going to show me info. I highlight woman, it shows me that info there on the side. So let's say you have your photos selected. You've renamed the title for either of them. All right, let's create the slideshow. File, new slideshow. Now the nice thing is you'll notice here on the side it creates a slideshow. We might rename it so it makes it easier. Photos I like to name. <coughs> I click on each of the photos. Make sure they're there. That's great. Let's check our options and settings here. Let's click show caption titles. This is looking pretty good. And So now when I go to play it. It's going to show me the title of the uh, slideshow that I set up. It's going to show me the name of each of the photos that are showing on the side. The next step, I just have to export it out to YouTube. Export. Yeah, let's give it to people in a high quality, 1080p. I'm not going to put it in iTunes because it's not going to go into iTunes. It's going to go out to YouTube. So I can save this wherever I want. I like to put it on my desktop. Okay, now that uh, iMovie's finished creating that QuickTime or movie file on our desktop, let's upload it. So we'll go into Upload, and after we click on Upload, it's going to give us some options. Um, but really, right here, we'll click Select Files to Upload. We'll find the, uh, we'll find the file we want. Double click it. Works on uploading it right now, and we can title it. So here we're going to say how to amazing photos I like to name. Add some tags. And uh, now we'll go ahead and click publish.